Just wanted to show you something kind of interesting that I found the other day and I was out looking for some used games in my local HMV and I noticed this thing sitting on the shelf and at first I thought it was one of those third party cheap devices but on closer inspection I noticed it was a Nintendo MP3 player and it's a, an official first party device you're meant to use it with your Nintendo DS and on the back it says it's compatible with the, the Game Boy Micro and I paid a grand total of 98 pence for that so uh, a real bargain and it turns out it's actually compatible with all your Game Boy Advances. It's really just a, a Game Boy Advance cartridge, as you can see there. This is brand new, it even had the, uh, the plastic cover on the front there. But yep, as you can see, it's an official Nintendo product. And if you turn it over here, you can see the back. You've got your headphone socket. It takes a 3.5mm uh, regular headphone jack. And here you put your, your SD cards in, so it just pops out of there. So far what i found is that it's not compatible with SDHC cards, which are the, the newer ones. It's only compatible with, um, I think, up to 2 gigabyte SD cards, so not so great, but I mean, I don't think I'll ever really be using this anyway. It's more of a kind of a collection piece, but what I thought I'd do is hook it up to my SP there and just give you a quick look at the, uh, the user interface, because it's kind of interesting to see. That's it connected up to my SP, and as you can see it sticks out a little along the bottom of the console there, and I've just got my 3.5mm audio lead connected up to that, and then that goes off to my external speaker. That's just so that you can hear it a bit better through the camera, but if I just fire it up, you'll be able to see the, the interface, and it might be a bit difficult for me to film this because it's going to be a bit glary, but I'll do my best. Is a and then you've got this choice between Mario and this little stickman figure. It's defaulted off to that stickman figure, so I guess I'll show you this one first. As you can see, you press left and right, and you can navigate through the different tunes you've got on your uh, your console or your your uh, memory card. So what we'll go with a bit of um, power glove here. And if I just I'll zoom out here and show you. If I hit up and down on the the D-pad here, it'll Increase or decrease the volume. And it actually goes quite loud. It goes a lot louder than it would normally if you were just plugging it into the, the regular headphone jack on the, the SP. So turn that down a bit more there. If you hit A, you can make the little man jump. If you have to hit A in times the music and he'll start dancing, so as you can see there, these other little guys up here and so on and so forth. You can also see along the bottom of the screen here there's little cars and men running around the place. Occasionally a helicopter will, will fly by and uh, just switches up a bit but otherwise it's, it's pretty basic. You've got, if you hit the select button here you can cycle through the different play modes so repeat and random play that sort of thing. You can create folders on the SD card and navigate them as well if you want but there we go. Uh, you can just skip through the, the various tunes you have on it. What I'll do now is I'll just reset it and show you the, the Mario version of this. So here's the, the Mario version. And again I'll put some uh, power glove here. This is from the Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon soundtrack. Turn it up a bit. And if you're thinking this looks a bit familiar, this background and this, these steps, then there's a reason for that. If I just turn this down a bit first. If I just get my 3DS, you'll see there's quite a big similarity there. Same type of background and steps and stars. So obviously this was a, well this one uh, was a, um, a development from the earlier Nintendo MP3 player for the Game Boy Advance and DS, so that's kind of interesting to see. But again if I hit A, Mario will start dancing, zoom in. If I hit A in time to the music, you can see little Mario's appear. No, if you don't do it in time to the music, they disappear again. And so on and so forth. You get different things to appear on the screen, but on the bottom of this one, instead of little cars and men, you've got Goombas and uh, turtles running around there. Like so. But there you go, that's just a quick look at the Nintendo MP3 player for the, the DS and the Game Boy Advance. It does say in the box that it's only like it's only compatible with the, the Game Boy Micro. You see there, but it's actually fine. It works with the the SP and the the other variants of GBA. So 
yeah there you go thanks for watching and i'll catch you again soon <laughs>